Welcome to this video on how to use tuples in Python. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video I'm going to explain what a tuple is, I'm going to show you how to create a tuple by using round brackets, I'm going to show you how to find items and I'm going to show you how to count the number of times a particular piece of information appears in your tuple. Well, let's start at the beginning. A tuple is just a list of things. As we discovered in the previous video, it's an unchangeable list of things. Once you've set your tuple up, that's it. That's how it stays. So let's have a look at this tuple High Achievers. High Achievers here is a list of text, a list of names of people who are programmers and who are really good at it. As you can see, the list is enclosed in round brackets. Now in this particular instance, I've just got items of text, but this could be text, it could be numbers, it could be a mixture of text and numbers. In fact, it can contain almost anything. But once it's set up, that's it, it's fixed. So that's how you create a tuple. Now let's go on to find out how you can use it, how you can find a particular item in this list. In this piece of code, I'm showing you the list of high achievers as we had it defined at the top of the program. However, numbering starts at zero. So Mark is item number zero, George is item number one, Georgi item number two, and so on. If I want a particular part of the high achievers, I need to say which ones I want. And we always go up to one higher than we actually need. So if I want items one to three, I say I want items one colon four, because it has to go above, one above where we want to stop. So if we do that, what we get is George, Georgi and Lizzie who are respectively items 1, 2 and 3. But we can also count backwards if we want. So we can say high achievers minus 1 and that will return the last item in the list. So the last item in this tuple is Maria. But suppose we want to find where a particular item is in our list. We can say high achievers dot index and then say which one we're looking for. So in this case we're looking for George and George we know is item 1. So it says at the bottom here George is at position 1. And that's how you find the place of a specific item. Now finally we want to see how many of a particular value we have. I have printed out our original list again and as you can see the name Mark appears twice, once at the beginning and once just before the end. So if we want to count how many times Mark appears in this tuple we can say high achievers dot count and then say which one we're looking for, so Mark in this case. And it then prints out Mark occurs two times. And that is almost everything you need to know about tuples.